Welcome to JMO with Josh and Joe. Uh, not much happened in the sports world. The NBA was on a break, the All-Star break. Uh, when the Winter Olympics kind of came to an end, yep. um, I kind of, it got to the point where I started betting hockey. I don't bet hockey. <laughs> I don't know how to bet hockey. I never, I never tried to bet hockey. Um, it's the it, they call it a puck line instead of the spread, which I thought line. yeah I thought that was kind of cool. Um, because they, they have I, I think I know what you're about to say. Uh, do you always bet the under for hockey? The under like yeah. goals? Yeah, well, dude, like, you would be surprised. The average over under is six goals, and sometimes there's six goals total. Sometimes there's seven. Sometimes there's five, and then sometimes there's one. That's why you it's hockey is just so difficult to bet. Yeah. I would never. I I I'd probably bet the under most of the time. So yeah, that's what I, I would I have a tendency the, to do. The under is like the play, but if you look at like today, we're taping this Tuesday. On it's, a Tuesday, it's two, 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 two. On Tuesday, yeah, twenty-two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the the overs hit like crazy today. Like there, was, there was like one game that had like seven, one game that had eight, and like it was just. Mm. I lost a lot of my bets today because I don't know how to bet hockey. I feel like maybe that's more that applies more with soccer. I feel like the uh, soccer the under hits all the time, whereas hockey you got so, a little bit more scoring that yeah, goes but, involved but, with it. But what would the over under be in soccer? Would it be like two and a half? Then you're just like, oh, I, I man. Would, I would think like one and a half. One. They, they <laughs> don't really a, have any no, it, <laughs> any hope for that. Yeah. Um. All right, well, let's talk about the All-Star game. Um, when I bet this, I bet the over. It was 324 and a half points, which, if you think about it, is a decent bit. But when yeah. you sc- when each team scored 45 points a quarter, yeah, that's not that much. Mon- that's not that many points. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but I forgot. I forgot about the tribute to Kobe in the fourth quarter. You know how yep. it's like both teams is the first to 24 wins. <laughs> yep. Bless you. Excuse me. Um, so I, I completely forgot about it. Um, yeah, I, uh, yeah, that, cause that really kind of messed it, some things up. It on screwed that. me. Yep. It screwed me. I lost it by one point. Yeah. I was about to say you were really close. I was it. very close. LeBron James, bang, but like he boned me. He boned me. He, really he, he wasn't making anything. He couldn't make a three to save his life. Like, the man was, he was two for 11 on three points. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, even whenever you are, there's the lowest amount of intensity that you can have in an NBA game on defense. Mm-hmm. You know, he still is not a good three point shooter. We, okay. Who I thinks will, he is. I will, yeah, he does. I will give him this. Um, he did come in clutch in the last, last shot. Like the last shot. Of a game that doesn't matter. He threw up a prayer. Let's be real. But it, the game did, didn't matter, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, sure. So I don't care. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean as good far job, as... LeBron. Hey, well done. <laughs> he came through in a game that doesn't fucking matter. Um, <clears throat> so I bet I bet Team Durant. And well, I, the odds were just better with Team Durant. Well, n- no, it just was a sexier bet because it was like plus 250. Mm-hmm. And the reason it's pl- it was plus 250 or whatever it was was because I didn't look at the I clearly didn't look at the rosters. They had Team LeBron had LeBron James, Giannis, Steph Curry, DeMar DeRozan. Yeah. Like like whoa, what? And then we had Team Durant had Kevin Durant did not play. Didn't play. James Harden did not play. They oh, had geez. Joel Embiid. That's who we had. We had Joel Embiid. And then Trey Young made a couple of threes. But it didn't matter because Steph Curry sunk like a billion threes. Yeah. It was insane. Did you? Did you? Were you? Did, were you there for that? Were you, did you see that? No, I was like watching. He was he sunk like nine threes in a row, and then it got to the point where he was just like he was just messing around. He was shooting them from almost half court. Oh yeah, and just going nuts. I think the final number for his three points was uh, sixteen of twenty-seven, where he and he scored fifty points, which he was trying at the very end. He went cold because he knew he figured out what the record was for an All Star oh, game. Oh yeah, and he couldn't get it. He needed all he needed was one more one three, more three and he would have gotten end. the record. Damn. Yeah, he ended up going cold at the end on us, but yeah, I would have loved did. to see him get it. I know. I mean, he deserves He's the best fucking shooter in the game. Oh, yeah. Um, I think they should get rid of the dunk contest. 
You know, they got you got a case to get rid of it this year. Cause like it's it's or at least like do like Harlem Globetrotter stuff. Like like and wow me. I want to be wowed. Um, you could use more props. Yeah. Like make Blake Griffin jump over two Kias instead of one. Mm -hmm. Like I'm um, like do like some monster trucks. <coughs> do some monster truck shit. Mm -hmm. Like I need some fire, some flames. Um, I mean it really it's gonna have to come down to the imagination of the of the dunker mm -hmm. because like at a certain mm. point like we've gotten to where there's like you know th there's basically a, we know everybody that's that's in the nba or you know the top half of the athletic ability is like just super athletic and they can do like crazy dunks and it's impressive it's just all shit we've seen yeah before like so you need something new you it's, need, gonna, right, it's like, gonna have to be something like new. how about we just like douse them in honey like, like, just cover them in honey and make them dunk with honey. Or, I don't know, um, make them dunk on the mascots. Like, have the mascots out there and just make them, like, posterize the mascots. I think they had something similar to that. Did they? No, yeah. well, no, they had that mascot to, like, hold the ball. Uh, I'm talking, true. I want the this mas mascot to, like, just forever be posterized. Gotcha. Like, you maybe know? jump up in the air and, like, and have the mascot, like, just get clobbered right, while he's, right. like, doing it. Slow. Or, or we can have, like, like, I've always wanted to see this in pro sports, but, like, have an average Joe, like, no pun intended, you okay. or me. You know what I'm saying? Like, some average Joe walk out there um, are, like, 5'11", 6 six foot you know tall frame and play against them like and just to see or like like have them dunk on us or like just do something to where it's like okay we have scale now that's how good they are that's how bad we are yeah you know what i'm saying okay. like that would be fun uh, we, we thought just make just another for. reason to make ourselves feel bad about ourselves yes you know? right right we need we need more reasons to because people have gotten arrogant these days and we need to tone it down a little bit tone it down a notch. um yeah, it's bad whenever you're the dunk contest, the best uh, or the biggest news that comes out of it is basically Shaq's reaction to all the dunks. It was awesome. Yeah, so it was awesome. I mean, it, yeah, his reaction was priceless, but at the same time, if that's the biggest headline that's coming out, that's not, not a good doing, dunk contest. Yeah, no. It's like, uh, who was it, Chris Berman doing the uh, home run derby? Uh -huh. Like, I mean, it's, you know, it, you got to make it, you got to make it something. It's yeah. all, like, it's basically glorified batting practice that Chris Berman made somewhat fun. Like, back, 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 back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, anything else from the All-Star weekend? Um, I think that's about it. Carl Anthony Towns won the three-point contest, which blows my mind. <laughs> yeah, I actually had the... Um... Actually, it was the plus, uh, the highest odds, the plus, plus fourteen thousand or fourteen hundred for him. Yeah, really? he was he was the lowest on there, oh, and so he yeah. won it. Oh wow! So That's... anybody who bet Carl Anthony Towns, props to you. Um, just show me where your time machine's at. Yeah, yeah. Let me see that. Um, so I did want to talk about the Jawan Howard fight. You know, so for everybody who doesn't know. The in the Michigan Wisconsin game, Wisconsin put a beating on Michigan. And, excuse me, apparently Jawan Howard was not very happy with it because he refused to shake Wisconsin coach, head coach, I forget his name. Um, he refused to shake did his Did he hand. refuse to shake his hand or did he just decide to shake his face? Yeah, no, that was an assistant coach, but that was funny. <laughs> um, he refused to shake his hand and apparently that it showed those two coaches – arguing back and forth. I'm guessing the Wisconsin coach wanted a handshake and was like, stop being a poor sport. Then Dewan Howard grabbed his, his like collar and pulled him and then it all hell broke loose. Juwan Howard put his hand over the assistant coach's face yep. and it was like, oh, that was assault. That was assault. Oh my God. No, no, he did. that wasn't even a bitch slap. That was more of a, just get the fuck out of my face. I'm, I'm pissed off that I lost. I actually, everybody's like, oh, that was despicable. Juwan Howard should be kicked out of the league, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 That was, that, I, I relate to it because I've gotten really, really pissed off at the end of a game that I lost and I reacted similarly to it. Like, it, I get it. I think it's passion. I think he's more passionate than, than the rest of the coaches. That's, yeah, you know, it's a little bit of a spin zone. It's a wild take, but... Yeah, I think he's just passionate. I don't. Know, I mean, should he should he get suspended? Mm, yeah, probably, probably. But I commend the guy. We need more passion in the game. And to go about and act like this is like 
the first time this has ever happened where people have emotionally reacted after games, it would be just naive and stupid. We literally have something called the Malice in the Palace. Yes. Back in, what, 04? Uh-huh. When, like, Ron Artest and that whole... All the, the Indiana Pacers and the Detroit Pistons basically declared war on each other. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think is... he. I think Juwan was still in that. Uh, Juwan Johnson was still in the NBA at that point. Juwan too. Howard? Or Juwan Howard. Yeah, sorry for Wait, the mistake. Um... I when, believe he was still in the NBA. He wasn't. He wasn't in like the prime years, but he was still kind of bouncing around a little bit. Yeah. So I mean, the thing is, he's just bringing that style back into. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, into we, the, you know that fire. The fire. Yes. Make, make basketball great again. Make basketball. Make, make the NBA. Or yeah, make basketball great. Again. Make basketball like the nineties. Yeah. Again. <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing it back to the Make 90s. basketball 1996 again. They're bringing fashion from the 90s. Everything's coming around. Oh, from please, the, let's from not the do 90s. the fashion from the 90s. Not, <laughs> you don't like the big old, nah, like, I'm pant not, legs? Not a, bit, not a big baggy guy like the Jenko jeans, you know? Uh -huh. not, not a big fan of that. Yeah. I used to be in the 90s. I now, mean, yeah, definitely. Mm, nah, not a big fan of the baggy. Um, all right, so did you make NBA tiers? We said last week we would make NBA tiers. I made some tiers. Um, did yeah, you have yours? I made tears through yours. Oh, so yeah. that's a funny way of saying you didn't make any tears. <laughs> you yeah. didn't make tears. Okay. I it's was a, uh, had some things going on. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, we had some personal. He, he had some personal things going on, but you know, we don't need to talk about them. Um, oh, we we could get into our personal life as some sometimes. I, well, I, I just got a new some. Just got a new job. You did get a new job. So I was Congratulations. Interviewing through that. Yeah. So, well yeah. done. Well done. Um. Yeah, so I got um so tier one. This is going from the bottom, bottom, bottom to the top. Okay. I had the toilet tier, but then like I wanted to go a tier below the toilet tier and just put teams in Detroit. Just any team that's in Detroit is gonna be the very, very bottom tier. And that obviously will be the Detroit Pistons. They yeah. suck. They blow. They are terrible, even against the spread. They just suck. Now, that makes that moves us up to the toilet tier. The toilet tier is the, the it's basically the toilet bowl of the NBA right now. Yep. I got Orlando, Houston, and Oklahoma City in that. They're all atrocious. They all have like I'm talking like eleven to thirteen and a half point spreads. Yeah. Like plus eleven to plus thirteen and a half. I I mean it's and that's kind of their own doing at this point. I mean, Houston has been just an atrocious uh, franchise altogether. Oklahoma City, I think it was the worst move getting on, moving on from Billy Donovan. If you can't, if you haven't noticed, like basically what he's doing in Chicago has been great. It's awesome. You know, it's they, he actually got a team around him, and now he's actually doing some They're, good stuff. Yeah, Chicago is like second has the second best record in the East. Yep. Yeah. So, so yeah. So. You know, I I think that Orlando is just you know notorious for for being bad. I mean, bad. they just kind of not good. Yeah, they they like they actually do find good players, but then they just find some way to get rid of them. So was well, like, getting rid of Shaq their curse? Are they cursed because they got rid of Shaq? Well, I mean, they also got rid of Dwight Howard back in his prime. Yeah, but I it's not Dwight Howard hasn't won shit by himself. But at the same Shaq, time, at the I same Shaq, time, Shaq was the reason he they. Yeah, I think well, they just ship Howard out. was super. They just shoot. Uh, they just ship out. You know the players at their primes. <sighs> yeah, I mean, so does so does the Pelicans, but we won't talk about that. Um, so my next tier is bad teams that are just bad. I got Sacramento Kings and the Indiana Pacers. They're not good. Yeah, they're this not year, very good at basketball. No. They, they might if they might be able to prove improve if they if they get some pieces. But I just I just. They're, as of now, as of this year, they're not good. Yeah. Um, the next one I have, Catching Fire. This one, this this team's going to catch fire. I promise you. But um, our New Orleans, Pe New Orleans Pelicans. New Orleans Pelicans. Yes, they are going to catch fire. They got a great young team around them. I'm excited now that we have CJ McCollum. Um, I, I think we're going to do well. If, if Zion stops being a little bitch and decides to come back... Um, I think we'll be we'll, we'll start catching fire. That's why I'm. How long would you say that this team has been in catch fire tier? Uh, the last fifteen years. Fifteen years, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> uh, look, if you if you just if I just stay on a take for long enough, it'll come around and it will be true. I just need it. Just might take 
20, 30 years. Uh, I mean, because I feel like we were in that phase with Chris Paul. I feel like we were in that phase with Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins, with Drew Holiday, and now we're getting in the same process with Zion Williams, Brandon Ingram, and C.J. McCollum. Yeah, dude, come on. It's yeah, a I big mean, three. It's, it's like, yeah, it's we're going to catch come fire. On, we got it. We got it. We just need fucking Zion to stop being a little bitch. Yeah. All right, anyways. um, My next tier is horrible to bet on. Just atrocious and it's mostly just from personal experience actually it's 100 percent from personal experience because i always whether i bet for the knicks or whether i bet against the knicks i always lose always lose against always the lose if i it, it doesn't matter if i'm betting the team the knicks are playing it doesn't bet, matter if i'm betting the knicks it doesn't matter if i'm betting the over under the spread the money line it doesn't fucking matter I always lose. Always lose when I bet the Knicks. Not a big New York, New York guy, huh? I I I'm, I liked New York when I went. I, I'm I'm a, I'm, I'm a not New, saying you don't like it. I like I like, I like just, New, you're New just York. Not a big not New York guy. I guess not. I, <clears throat> some me. people some people are made for New York and some people are not. Yeah. So I the, the, guess the bright lights are, aren't 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 it for me. I don't know. Um, <laughs> well, well, hopefully we'll maybe okay. catch that. So. Uh, no, I, I I love cities. I love going around new cities. I I I've been been fortunate enough to travel around a bunch of cities in the U.S. And man, New York was one of the crazier ones. But I like like cities like D.C. D.C. was fun. Mm -hmm. Philadelphia was fucking nuts. I've been there a couple of times. Yep. Philadelphia was nuts. Vegas was probably my favorite. Vegas, we we went there on a bachelor party for a bachelor party, and like we had everything lined up, everything planned out, and everything went according to plan. Which says a lot about the, our, our, the integrity of our group. That's good. Considering all of the, the activities, we'll say activities, that we did. Yeah. So basically on a scale of like, you know, going according to plan like y'all did and Hangover, the movie. Right. You, you were uh, definitely on the opposite um, side opposite of that. Opposite end of the Hangover. Yeah. yeah. It was actually, it was very weird. Yeah. <laughs> I did not expect that, that Vegas trip to go that well. And we only gambled for maybe 30 minutes that whole entire weekend. It was, wow. it was pretty wild. We did, we were doing so much stuff that gambling was like an afterthought the whole time. Quite crazy. But anyways, um, my next tier is average. Just these, just teams that are kind of average. Um, I got the Spurs in Washington. Okay. That's, I mean, they're average. You don't really need to talk about it. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, the Spurs, you know, I guess ever since they lost Tim Duncan and, uh, Manu Tony, Ginobili, Tony Parker yeah. and all that. I mean, they just, since been, then, I mean, it, it's, they've got a good coach that at least keeps them decent enough that always, they're always on the. Bottom bottom tier of the playoffs, the bottom right, line. Right, right. And that's honestly, that's funny you say that because it segues nicely. Um, they're right. That tier is right underneath playoff possible. Ah, gotcha. So playoff possible are, which the Lakers and Clippers, I I just put there put here just because of their record. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have. There's no doubt in my mind the Lakers are going to make the playoffs. Yeah. Um, and I think the Clippers have a have a very good shot at it. Um, but. More importantly, the playoff possible are Portland, Charlotte, the Nets now, and the Raptors. The Nets, I put the, I put here. They're, I, I just don't know what's going on with Durant, Kyrie, excuse me, and now Ben Simmons. Like, I don't know what's happening with them. Like yeah. on paper, they should be the, the number one team in in the East, but just like right now, I just don't know. So, well, I feel like it's been a lot of. A lot of distractions. Mm -hmm. You have to you have to chalk that up to a, a lot handful of distractions that's going on. You know, obviously the Kyrie situation with him. You know, the anti-vax or whatever yeah. he wants to call it. Uh, yeah. You know, his situation. Flat earther. Yeah, flat earther. I don't, he's got his assortment of things, but mm -hmm. he was out for quite some time. Then Durant's been a little bit hurt, and then apparently there's a little bit of a drift between. Durant and Harden, so like that's, well, they, that, Durant and Harden have a little bit of a rift. Well, that that's actually what led to the rumor has it that's kind of what re led to the whole trade to get gotcha, Ben Simmons. Gotcha, gotcha. I thought it was Harden didn't like Kyrie because he wasn't vaccinated. Well, you know what? The, there's a little bit of that as well, but the you know how Durant just you know has a problem with everybody that he never fully addresses 
head on with. He just, you know, he will either take to Twitter or, you know, some or just, you he's, know, have have a passive aggressive. Uh, he's nature. passive aggressive. Oh, yes. he is a he's the definition of passive. He's passive aggressive. I mean, with twenty seven burner accounts, exactly. You are the poster boy for passive, passive aggressive. aggressive, like attitudes. Okay, yeah. all right, I get it. Um. All right, so the next one I have next year is Will Choke. I'm not saying Will Choke right now, but I think they will choke in general. That's um, I got the, the Timberwolves and the Atlanta Hawks. Atlanta Hawks be just because they're an Atlanta team and they, they'll just choke. And the T-Wolves because they just, they will never, they've had Kevin Garnett. They've had Kevin Love. They've just like, they've had all these, these very, very good game changer type of players they just don't. They, they just don't ever get there. Yeah. So they got they got some stars a, a little bit um, on this team. I, I like that Anthony Edwards guy. I think Anthony Edwards is really good. Carl Anthony Towns. I mean, he's a solid player too. Again, I, they're, they're another guy that they're just gonna waste. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, and the Hawks. I like Trey Young. I think they're doing stuff. But until an Atlanta team, the, again, this is just me being biased because I hate Atlanta sports. But. Until they show me that they can that they can make it to the finals, I will never ever bet on them. On an Atlanta team? Well, yeah, more specifically the Hawks. Gotcha. Yeah. So, um, now this this next tier is good. This these teams are good. They're good. Um, the Celtics are good. The Nuggets are good. The Mavs, the Jazz, and surprisingly enough. I think the most surprising team this year is the Cavs. The Cavs. The yes. Cavs. The Cavaliers are good. They are good. Um, I, again, no idea how that was that was made possible. I mean, I do. It's got, what's the, who's that guy with the fro? I don't know his. I don't know his name. Oh, oh Big Jared Allen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's nasty. Love oh, he's him. Great, love him. Love great that, player. Lo- love him. I love the throwback fro so much. It's like I know I'm watching basketball when I see that. Like it, it kind of throws me back in the past of so like. You know, when we, when Allen Iverson, like, Allen Iverson had a little bit of a fro, but I'm thinking more of, like, back when, like, Dr. J. Yeah, you got more of your, like, your, like, 80s, 70s fro. Like, that's what he's kind of rocking right now. I love it. I love that shit. Um, so, all right, next year is very good. These teams are very good. Uh, Memphis Grizzlies, Milwaukee Bucks, 76ers, and Bulls. I think with the addition of Harden, um, the 76ers are a very, very formidable team. Um, I feel like Doc Rivers always has that type of team. They do. He does. He does. He does. Um, the Bulls, like we alluded to earlier, are nasty. They're, yes. they're fucking good. Um, the Bucks, obviously. And, dude, John Morant is a fucking superstar. John Real- Morant for the Memphis Grizzlies is a superstar. He is, he is very, very athletic, very, very talented, and he's showing that he can lead a team. They just, like... I think Memphis, dude, they're like one piece away. Maybe they might not even be one piece away. They might be ready now. They just need to, but they need to just get a little bit better. And yeah. they, they will be, a, I have a future on Memphis. I put my future. It was like, I put this on like uh, three weeks ago and they were like plus 2,200 or something like that. Mm-hmm. Put a nice little little future on them. Yeah. No, the way Jai Morant's playing this year and becoming in, becoming the budding superstar that he is. He, uh, that that's not a bad not a bad future right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So my next tier is gonna be elite. These teams are elite. It's the Phoenix Suns, Golden State Warriors, and the Miami Heat. All three of those teams are just on fucking fire right now. They're very very good. Steph Steph Curry's playing out of his mind. The Suns as a whole are playing out of their minds, and the Heat as a whole are playing out of their minds. Is it is it kind of um, coincidental that you've got the the teams that are hot right now as the Suns and the Heat? Oh, yeah. A little uh, punny action yeah. right there. I, I should have done that, actually. Yeah. Probably I should, should, oh, man. Should've I should have left the just, Warriors out. I know. You know what I should have done? Damn. Where were you when I was making this list? You know what I should have done? I should have made this tier hot. Hot. Hot yeah. teams. And then I should have just put Suns and Heat. Yeah. And then that's it. That would have been funny. Well, that would have been. You know, next time. Next yeah. time. Um, all right. Well, that, those are my tiers of the NBA. That that will definitely change. Um, but for right now, I think, like, if, if you're betting, you want to keep, like, you want to stay away from Oklahoma City and Detroit. I know that for sure. And Houston. Like, they'll have plus 13 and a half, and you're going to want to fucking slam that. But, no. 
Honestly, I um, would take I would take the other the other side. Of the yeah, spread. I would I would take, my, minus thirteen and a half. If if Miami Heat was playing the Houston Rockets, I would take Miami Heat to pl- minus thirteen and a half. Yep. Um, my last little bit, and then we'll get out of here. Um, this was, was the first Sunday without football. Yeah, a little depressing. The the the. <laughs> The the TikToks and the memes and stuff were kind of funny though. It's just like, the, did you see the guy that was like throwing himself out the window? Like, <laughs> and then the caption was, caption was uh, you know, first Sunday without football. Yeah, and he was gonna like, you know, drink Clorox and stuff. <laughs> it was funny. He, he was he was a funny one. Um, no, it, it it felt weird. It felt weird. I'm not gonna lie. It felt like something was a little bit missing. Um, I think it's like a it's a soup. It's the football hangover a little bit. Mm-hmm. I think it'll take about one or two Sundays. You know how a normal hangover, you're hungover the next day, and then maybe the day after your brain's a little fuzzy, but after that, so like if you get drunk Saturday night, Sunday you're hungover, Monday you're a bit fuzzy, but you you know you don't ache as bad, and then Tuesday you're pretty much good to go. I think we need one more Sunday and then and then the hangover will be gone. So we need to basically hydrate with some off season news? Yes. Oh, we need some some this is a good segue to your your Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, so basically, I know that that was the big news that's been coming out right now about apparent the apparent uh, in quotations cryptic, uh, mm-hmm. cryptic message that he put on, on, Insta- Instagram. on his Instagram. Yeah, and yeah, so basically, reading into this, uh, he was he did a post with a bunch of photos of you know him and his teammates and also just like some quotes like there was this one kind of weird quote it was like gratitude is wine for the soul go on get drunk i was like okay gratitude i was like is wine for the soul yeah oh i kind of like and he's like go on, on get, get drunk. drunk i was like yeah. i can kind of relate to that yeah but so i like that, that basically was he was like yeah saying a round of thanks if like Basi- but the thing is, it kind of came across as if, like, Tom Brady had put this post up, it would have meant he was retiring or leaving a team. Right. It, that's right. kind of what it felt like. But he went on the Pat McAfee show. He cleared the air. He said, no, I'm just giving gratitude. Uh, basically, he went. He just came back from a 12-day cleanse of Pancha Karma. Pancha which, Karma. Which is, I don't, I'm not quite sure. Sounds but, like lots of peyote. Yeah, something something in that regards. Or either that or it's just code for like uh Packers Karma bitch or something like that. Oh you know, he might have you're like really some, looking into yeah, this. I so just thought he got he, he was tripping on a shit ton of acid and like Well, just, I mean he may, he may have, but he I, I feel like Aaron Rodgers is a complex guy. He's not somebody that's just simple. I think he's he's got a lot going on in his head and he mm-hmm. does and so he's actually talking to us in code. Oh so ooh, this is good. This yeah. is new. Yeah. This is something new. It's juicy. I like the code. I think actually dude, imagine if like just every NBA or NFL player had this like encrypted code that they were all using to communicate with each other. Yes. And then, like, they kind of, like, let us in every now and then. Like with Aaron Rodgers. Like Aaron Rodgers, yeah. That would be fun. That would be fun. I'd have fun with that. Yeah. I mean, we would go crazy. We would be watching sports and on a, what is it, uh, a treasure hunt. Or yeah, a, dude. Uh, oh, they send us on this giant treasure hunt. Yes. And then we get there and the X would have nothing under it. We'd just be like, ha ha, we got you, bitches. I would... I it's would, just like a I pictured my ex to have Super Bowl tickets. So, oh, you know, if I if Super I figure Bowl this out, I get to you know <laughs> I have Roger Goodell at the end handing me uh, Super Ew, Bowl I tickets. I wouldn't want Roger Goodell. Well, I'd boo him, but I'd take the tickets. Oh yeah, you know take I mean? the tickets and then just pull up the fucking <laughs> and just boo him. Yeah. Birdie, birdie. Or yeah, just yeah. give him the Eli Manning. Yeah, the Eli Manning. I love that. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that was funny. They, dude, they had like 130,000 people listen to Pat McAfee's show. Yeah. For that. Yeah. That was oh, fucking yeah. wild. And uh-huh. then he just didn't say anything. <laughs> he's, he's, I've listened to he's a his, troll. yeah, I've listened to his Tuesday thing. He, he really is. He, he, he'll tease a little bit during, like, for with some sort of headline, and then he'll come on Pat McAfee, and he won't really give you much of anything. Yeah. So, but it's it's kind of cool though. It's funny. It's, it's funny. Uh, funny Pat McAfee guy. has some great questions. He's got a great show. Good. But um, let's see. The only other thing I had are the Olympics are over, and I can honestly say didn't watch very much of it. Um, I don't think anybody did. I think the one thing I did learn. Well, Sean White got fourth. Unfortunately, I mean mm-hmm. he had a long, he had a good good run. But I the older I get, 
the more into curling I am. The I more. love curling. Curling. I just, I'm fascinated by it. Also, it's definitely an old person sport. It is, it is. And the guys there are just like, like I know the, the, the joke's been around so many times, but like every, every four years I see these guys and they are, just, they just look like your everyday suburban dads that are just trying to get away from their wives. Yes. Like it's a beautiful thing. And they have one guy that looked like the workaholics guy with the long hair and the mustache mm -hmm. on the oh, USA yeah, team. Yeah, Blake. Um, yeah, dude, it's just, it's so cool. And then like, there's way more strategy to it than I thought. And like, it's almost like cornhole on ice. So, like, except, I don't know. I don't know why that associated in my brain. Cornhole on ice. Do you think we are going to see someday Cornhole make it to the Summer Olympics? Mm. God, I hope so, man. <laughs> you see those guys that get jacked up every time oh, they, they, they shoot I mean, a they, shot? Look, let's put it this way. There's been some momentum, you know, going into I, uh, that sport. I, I can you imagine the Chinese playing that? So they're probably gonna be some do some crazy ping pong shit that they like do over. They'll figure something out. I, I feel like I feel out. like they would grunt every time they threw. Ah! <laughs> and be like, and have this like this wicked spin that has like that's you know, what goes into saying. five like, different directions. They, like exactly, yeah. They put some like voodoo shit and it just like choo, curves off to the left and then like does this J hook into the fucking yeah. <laughs> it, it, like he, they have like a flip rotation where it actually flops into the hole. Yeah, exactly. Like dude does some and jumps over other bags and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Some last Airbender shit. Uh -huh. like, yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, look. Cornhole 2024. Cornhole 2024. 2024. That's my flag. Yeah. That's what I'm flying. That. Yep. I don't think they approve sports that quickly, but we're going to we're, we're going to push it. for we're it. We're going to do it. We're, we're going to make it. history. We're, yep. We'll do it. You got anything else? I think that's about All it. All right. That wraps us up. We'll see y'all next uh well, we're going to record next Tuesday. We'll see y'all next Wednesday. All right.